Okay, so here we go. Couples therapy. This needed to be done. Uh, Kim is here. Kim, uh, Kim, please pronounce your last name for me one more time. Cronister. Cronister. Kim Cronister. That's what I get for not being able to read my own writing. Uh, Kim, <laughs> thank you very much for being here. I understand that you've been listening to the show. You've been watching what's happening between Leche and Leslie, Lezchero. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been, uh, you know, it started off very friendly and very uh, very cute and, and flirty. And then somewhere it just got kind of petty and ugly. Uh, I'm sure you've heard uh, some of the stuff that they've said to each other on the air. And um, I'm sure you've seen a lot on online as well i have what have you seen i've seen high emotions and high reactivity okay and what does that usually indicate high emotions high interest and that's the underlying issue coming here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now now kim heard um heard what was happening saw what was happening reached out to us and she wanted to help uh the minute we said we're gonna have a couple therapist in here let you fought it leslie fought it a little bit as well mm-hmm. i'm sure you run into that a lot Often it depends on what they're referred for, but mm-hmm. not each partner. Each partner is not going to be motivated for couples therapy, and really the motivation is the intrinsic value. So you want to be motivated when you come in. So if we can get them warmed up, that is going to give a better result. Uh, that's what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Now, j- just judging off of what you've seen, what you've heard, could this work? It actually can work, and over fifty percent of pe- coworkers mm-hmm. actually admit to a romance in the workplace, mm-hmm. and sixteen percent have actually found their spouse in the workplace. Now, is that safe though? It depends on the policy of, of the work. If it's a casual sure. setting, it's like personal trainers do this a lot. People mm-hmm. in entertainment, DJs do this a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, radio stations, TV. This is common there, and there's not a problem with it. Okay. Kim, we appreciate you coming by today. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, thank you. And I'm sure, listen, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot to be said mm-hmm. here, so we got to get straight to it. Let's get straight to okay, it. Okay, so where do we start? Lechero, Leslie. It's my understanding there's been high reactivity, high emotions, negative emotions, and a lot of chaos lately. And it's also my understanding that today's goal is to decrease the pettiness and to strengthen the relationship. Does that sound like a goal to you? Yeah. Is there anything to add to it? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. So a lot of times when couples come into couples therapy, they're super charged to make complaints. So mm-hmm. I want to throw it to you, Lechetto. What has been the complaint and the dynamic? Like what has bothered you gotten under your skin about Leslie? Okay. When she asked me to take photos, she takes like 20 minutes to get the right one. Uh-huh. She she asked me to take photos all the time and she ends up not posting any of the photos I take. I wasted 15 minutes of my life mm-hmm. and she says, thank you, thank you, thank you. But she <laughs> never expresses a, a thank you with posting a picture. So she wastes my time for one. When it comes to pictures, okay, that's it takes one. forever okay. and never even likes the pictures mm-hmm. and it's like she wasted my time. Okay, so we're starting with the superficial complaints. Okay, and that's somewhere. We're getting somewhere here. Yeah. Leslie, what would be a complaint that you have with the dynamic? He, my dynamic or my complaint with Lechero is he has zero patience. Like he, he's just always very in a rush, in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And I, it's just, it's, it's a lot. It's annoying. No, it's because with you, (laughs) with you, only with you, you always run late. So I got to step on you so we can not run late. Okay. I don't always run late, but there's times where I am late. Yeah. Okay. And it's, you know what? It, when he rushes me, it reminds me of my dad. It brings back okay. like memories of my dad. Mm-hmm. And that that part, like, oh, it just gives me this weird feeling. That's where, deep. Like, and a lot of times we have these projections mm-hmm. uh, because of our parental experiences. So, Lechetto, I know that we started with the... Oh, pe- go ahead. Time out. Okay. So, and it's not that he rushes me. It's it's his his approach. His approach. His approach. I. It's like one one... One way to like be concerned and like, okay, we got to hurry, you know, mm-hmm. we're going to be late. But mm-hmm. that's not the way it goes down. It's like, oh, oh, and what does on, it, what does it feel on. like? Is it intrusive? It, it's just, it, it's unnecessary, unpleasant. She feels, bo- she feels like I do it too bossy. And I think she's, she's so independent that someone else <laughs> stepping up to her caliber is kind of mm-hmm. like, no, I'm in charge. Mm-hmm. You sit back and I do what I want. Mm-hmm. And has that been some of the appeal, Leslie? What do you mean some of the appeal? The like to authoritative him? stance that he can have. Big or words. Or can only, you dumb it down for us a little or bit? Or has it only been annoyance? <laughs> it's annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> and it's happening on the air and off the air. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it is. It's a lot intense. off the air as yeah. well. They can't have a regular conversation without being mean to each other. Okay. Yeah. And we've gotten to the point where, like, the job. this is a fun job. You know, we make fun of each other. It's what we do. It's, mm-hmm. it's always tasteful. I, mm-hmm. I don't think we ever, like, we all know where we 
can pick at with Cruz, with Jeff, with Leche. But sometimes mm. with, with Leche, I feel like he just picks and picks and picks. Okay, and I'm picks. glad that you made that. And he that doesn't point. know when to stop. And it's like, bro, okay, it was funny the seventh time. Excellent. But like, excellent that's that you're making that it. remark because it's not that funny anymore. Many people cannot be that vulnerable to admit that. That's very mature of you. There are low blows, and I would imagine that both of you have experienced low blows. Oh, I've had. You should, you, I have experienced low blows with Leslie. Uh, she actually did a. We did distracts to each okay. other. Um, you know, which which was a, an idea by our producer Jeff Garcia, <laughs> and um, a sports dude. A sports dude <laughs> always looking for someone to blame. Right, right. No, no, <laughs> hey, it's our session. Back up. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and, and and she said a lot of mean stuff there. A lot of mean stuff there. You know, I have to tell you about the timing. Obviously, I had to do my research for this case, but the timing is such that you would have been reactive and petty because of that. That was a theory of mine. Did that spark some reactivity, some pettiness? I think it did, yeah. And why? Did we perceive it as somewhat rejection? Are we not winning in that moment? What is it? Let's let's give you I a chance win. to be vulnerable. I always want to win. I'm competitive. Both good. very competitive. We're both yeah, very competitive. Extremely. Well, none of you in this room would be here if you weren't overachievers, so obviously. But let me ask you. Did you think that the reactivity was going to gain you ego supply, meaning a stroke from Leslie? Were you going to get more attention that way? Did you simply just need ego supply outside well, of this dynamic? Well, a stroke dynamic? from Leslie is never going to happen. But yeah, a stroke for the ego, yes. Okay, good. I'm glad you said it's never going to happen. So what signs have you seen from her that show that it might be a possibility, that there might be high interest there? I don't know. I don't think I've ever... Uh... <laughs> Did we notice, I think she admitted to jealousy recently. I mean, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I, she says things sometimes, but I don't take it to heart. Like, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, you know, like, it's Leslie. Leslie mm -hmm. is known to be a liar. Okay. Know? So if we, <laughs> whoa. Wait, no, I'm whoa. just kidding. I'm just, he's see, not that's kidding. a very not low kidding. blow. See? Good example. I'm glad it came up here in a safe space. That is extremely low blow. And how did it feel when that, when he said that right now? That you're a liar. I mean, I think he's, he's definitely wrong. I'm not a liar. Um, and I can't believe that you've, would think that I'm a liar in front of company. Sorry, I just I, I spoke. Well, sometimes okay. So let's give give the guy. What, a what's benefit the word? Of defamation doubt. of character. That's right. That's defamation good. or defamation. That's, it's hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel. Yeah. So we feel like there's not a chance with her, and sometimes when we feel like there's been some kind of. She's a charismatic individual, from what Very I understand. Much so. so, if there's a flirty vibe and you feel like it's not going anywhere, do you interpret that as lying? Is that part of this, or what's what's well, behind for, it? First of all, she's into women. She's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when she, when she's flirty with me, I don't take it serious because I know you know what I'm saying. I don't get my hopes up. Like I'm like she's into and she's, a little, a little. Nah, hopes up for, a did little. you ever have your hopes? I up? swear to God, never. Oh, she, stop. She, no, I put it down. Stop it. Leslie one time swore to me, nah, I know in the beginning you had like a little crush. And I said, no, no, no. She kept pushing, saying, no, yeah, you did. So I ended up agreeing, saying that I did, just so she could shut the F up. But I promise you, I've never well, it's had very normal to have no crushes. emotional. I've never had no emotional interest for oh, Leslie. Okay, but let's talk about crush and attraction. Physical interest, yes. Okay, emotional, but no. In a workplace. So the more time, research has actually shown that the more times we see someone's face, the more attracted to it we are. And that oh, doesn't beautiful. that doesn't necessarily account for like the sociopaths we yeah. encounter, but it does it does mm -hmm. account for all the faces that we that, see on a daily basis. That doesn't go with for this face, but that's fine. It go actually, ahead. absolutely, for everyone in this room, it does. Yeah, it does. I, that's what the science says. So yes, you can say that you had a crush on her. He, she could have had a crush on you, and that would be to me normative because of what I know. I doubt that. Are they codependent? I think that they are or because I'm still is? seeing reactivity when they're not together. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about pettiness. Let's talk about, bring me back to why you think that it was sparked. What was the precursor to the pettiness? Well, I mean, I just, you want to go ahead first? Go first. I'll go first. Go so, first. Okay. This is what started it for me. When we were given the challenge to create a diss song about each other, mm -hmm. um, before we even created the diss songs, we at, uh, our producer Jeff asked us for a preview of what we were cooking up, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Lechero Lechero dug deep. He he hit he hit something inside of me, mm -hmm. and it made me see red. And so what did I say? He said, I mean, he said a few things in that little snippet. Mm -hmm. The audience would know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he 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 well, brought up my daddy issues. It, if, if if it really did affect us, she should he, know. He, why would she want to repeat he, it? He right brought now. up it's my hurtful. daddy issues. Let her finish. Yeah, thank you. My bad. He brought up my daddy issues. Um, which it was not the first time he brought it up, but he brought it up on air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. He brought up, he said, I look like I'm 70 years old. Okay. That's a lie. And then he said that I only look good with filters. 
We know that's a lie. And so because he said that to me, I mean, I'm a woman. I'm, I feel like I'm very, I'm secure with myself, but like there's just certain things. I think we all have that one certain thing that like is sensitive to us. Of and that course. was sensitive to me where he said, I only look good with filters and the trigger. daddy issues and yeah. you know, that I like I'm 70. So because he said that I saw red and I went, I, I was like, okay, he hurt me. And maybe this wasn't mature of me, but I thought to myself, I'm going to hurt him. She went for the jugular. She won. That's right. The rap. That's but listen, right. the only reason why for the record, let the record show, mm -hmm. the only reason why I said filters is because Every time she wants to do a video, she wants a filter. Mm -hmm. So I just had to go with what I've seen. Is mm -hmm. there something missing in their lives? Is that is that why this is happening? So let's talk about the... the um, we've been up and coming for a little bit, guys. We've had a little bit of fame. So if we're going to be frank, I've worked with celebrities, and this is part of the puzzle. We're overachievers. We're competitive. That's part of it. So we always want to win. And sometimes that can be applied to our romantic lives. We treat it like a job, but we can't win then effort i'm gonna go somewhere else and i'm gonna get my way no matter what and i think that might be he is so he really is overachieving from what i understand and that could be part of it it's like i'm gonna be mm -hmm. ego wounded here i'm gonna be reactive and that's where we have to be vulnerable and i'm glad that you're being vulnerable and you've been surprisingly vulnerable thank you um but that's what we have to look at is being is. <laughs> is being reactive because sometimes interest is high oh, even yeah. if we think it's not going to go anywhere yeah do you think Leche could ever be with one woman or is it just going to be Susias forever? I'll tell you why I think he can, because he seems to be very loyal to his job and to his career trajectory. And in fact, busy people actually do a really good job of staying with someone. But the question is this, and I think you've said this before, Leslie has had, um, has opened up to you. She went on what, one date, maybe more. We don't know how many dates you've been on, but she opened up to you. So she gave you a sign that maybe you had a shot. And instead of being consistent, and disciplined in that, what did you do? You weren't maybe seeing something fast enough. Maybe she hurt you. What happened there? I don't think she really hurt me. I mean, I Dis just... Let's call it disappointment if you don't want to go hurt. No, no, no. I mean, she opened up because she's my friend. Mm -hmm. And friends open up to each other. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean she had a romantic interest in me. What did you say? Up. What do you think? I mean... Did you feel like you gave it a shot? No, nah, she never gave it a shot. She... All that she oh, needs well, is what? eye contact. <laughs> and he's, he's Listen, I want for Leslie because she's the hottest one in the building, to be honest. There you go. <laughs> be quite frank. Who knew? If I need a work wife, I'm going to go for the hottest one. Who right. needs this relationship more just by looking at it and from what you've heard so far? I, honestly, I think mm -hmm. it's kind of equal right now. Really? From what I've been seeing with the reactivity mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. last week. Um, how can I they think. tolerate each other? How can it become a better work environment yeah. for okay, me? Okay, so let's talk about low for blows me, for a second. That, Not for them, for that, me. That's a, I'm glad you asked that, Cruz, because I, I do feel that there's lately, I don't know if it's because we've gotten close just as humans or because we see each other mm -hmm. every lot. single day. A lot. But um, I do feel that like we pick at each other a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, this, first of all, if we know that 16% of people that are in the workplace get married then there's an opportunity for a deep closeness. Even if it doesn't end up being marriage or romantic, there's an opportunity for deep closeness. There truly is. Mm -hmm. So when we make low blows, we make an assumption that the person is going to not only like us and respect us the next day after we said it, but also we make an assumption that they're going to be alive tomorrow. Okay? So we want to prevent resentments if we can. And that's mm -hmm. on both sides. This is not just Lachetto. Mm -hmm. It's on both sides. Yeah, Leslie. Is there... <laughs> It's the blame game as well. Um, is there specific phrases or things that they can say or do for each other that could work and give them, you know, a healthier work relationship at least? You can. You can set an intention together or separately every day that you're going to be the best version of yourself with, re with regard to this dynamic because I truly believe you all are better together. It's one of the tightest dynamics I've seen in media. And if you have that intention, mm -hmm. then there that is. That sets the trajectory for the day. Now, what happens is we want to reinforce the other person, not not in a joking way, but like really in a real way that I really felt good around you today. And every time you do make a joke and it might be below the, bu the belt, you can apologize or you can just check yourself in that moment because you're not perfect. And you're going to have lapses in this, yeah. you know, trying to be better friends or better in the dynamic. Yeah. So set the intention, reinforce mm -hmm. each other. And if you make a mistake, just check yourself and you can apologize if you feel like it might have been below the belt. Okay. But we are so, making assumptions when we mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Sidebar, Leslie doesn't always make the first move. She doesn't mm -hmm. always necessarily initiate when it comes to uh, uh, a relationship. Mm -hmm. What do you think, or why do you think that is? What do you think is happening there? 
I don't think that she thinks that she probably knows intellectually that she doesn't have to. And there are ways that women can can give signs of attraction that they're attracted to someone else without doing that. So I, I actually think she could be way more successful than other people see. It's more she can continue using the nonverbals of yeah. eye contact, of smiling, of acting excited when you see a person. Because, you know, when you're in this position, you know, you, you might people are going to be intimidated. They're mm-hmm. going to feel like you're playing cool. And the only people who are going to approach her are people that are on a similar level. So she needs to be able to make more contact that way as far Mm -hmm. as the body language, saying hi, being okay with it. And you know what makes it really easy, and I think Lechero is good at this, is just treating the other person like a friend at Mm. first because then you get to see when you go out with them if there's chemistry. Mm -hmm. So it's if you break it down and make it more simple, it really becomes easy to do and tangible. Mm -hmm. Now Lecce is on a mission for multiple baby mamas. (laughs) Psychologically, what do you think is wrong here? I don't. Okay, here's what's not wrong is that he's, he may have some mentors, some successful people in the industry who have done similar things, many successful men. Did um, he? Right. You know, say. <laughs> okay. So many men, sometimes, sometimes that's a marker of, of success and in other countries it really is. Mm-hmm. You know, that might be it. He might be, you know, joking a little bit. Maybe, you know, he seems like a loyal guy at heart, but he are might be. No, well, listen, I, I say that because I genuinely would love to have kids that are mixed, you know, mixed with different nationalities. Mm-hmm. So. You know, I would love to have multiple children with different women. Not because yeah. it's like, oh, I got these girls and I'm a mm-hmm. Mac daddy. No, just because I genuinely want kids that are mixed and I mm-hmm. want different kids, not just mm-hmm. from the same nationality. You get what I'm saying? So you're not wrong in saying it only because you're not currently deeply in love and committed. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. might have attraction to people, but you're not deeply committed. So you actually are allowed to say whatever you want at this point as a single man. Mm-hmm. It's more so what are you going to do when you're courting a woman? Do you want to say these things in front of a woman you're courting? I mean, I would be you honestly don't. straight up like, hey, listen, this is what it's going to be. And this is that. And that's that. You know what I'm saying? Be as open as, and, as, and as honest. Like, either you with the you with, you with the business or not. And you so, don't. Now you see what Leslie's been dealing with? No, no. no well, I mean, this is not the same energy I, I give to Leslie. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it. it's all about being she's, honest. She's, and, she's and believe it or not, there's women out there that are going to be willing to, you know what? I'm down. You're not wrong. And I've certainly treated people that have you know what I'm open relationships or, or, or dads that uh-huh. the women still love regardless. But if that's if you're really serious about that, then it would be presented in a more serious way. Now the only al- different alternative would be I find a, a a woman that's mixed with like four different nationalities, that's right. and then I could just stick to one. That's and my, right. my, my child oh, is there you go. Irish, yeah. German, yeah, <laughs> French. Let's and put that aside. Let's put that aside. Or something. Do they crave each other? Is this what it is? You know. To be clinical, we're getting a dopaminergic high every time we see someone that we are excited by at work. Yeah. So they're getting a spike in it, and when they don't see each other, they can get depleted. It's I've never gotten butterflies true. from absolutely. Leslie. What'd you say? But I, how is that I've possible? I've never gotten butterflies from Leslie. I think you have. I Lichetto. swear to God, all my wow. dad in heaven, all my dad in heaven. You I, don't have to be mean, and then no, bring your father. I, I promise you, I have never gotten butterflies from Leslie. What does that mean? Tell like, us what like, that means. Then shy, nervous, never, or giddy. Bro. Does he I get never giddy? like? Oh my God! Does, it's do I get, does he light up when he sees you? <laughs> you know. By the way, I want to do say this. I want to open up and say yes. Leslie told me yesterday. She felt that when I first started here, I didn't like her. She thought that I didn't like her. Mm. Yeah. What was but that I don't about? know why. I think she told me the same thing. She, I heard it for the first time yesterday. <laughs> what was that about? Is I that, don't know. But I, I mean. Was that about his bravado? Is he I, very confident? I think that might have been it. Yeah. Yeah. And you are and you know what? You, I don't hate nobody. I didn't say you hated me. But I just like, felt you like you were just kind of like, eh, all right, cool. Like, you weren't really impressed. You were just okay, so like, that's the eh. norm. That is the norm that she's like, experiencing. Who is this? Look at how honest this is. She's both of you. just whatever. Very honest. Oh, we she... got her? Okay, cool. Let's go with it. She... That was the energy I felt. One day, I remember we had, like, the second that day. day? At the that I second Heart day, Theater? No, like, this was, like, a few days later. He's like, yeah, we're going to bring on this other DJ, you know. Uh, we're, we're, so he said something about bringing someone else on and I was like okay that's weird there's a difference between like, your games I mean you're just telling like bro what the hell it was almost like he was trying to like burst my bubble and say alright look you're here but you're like don't get excited that, that was, I, that was not I my got. intention okay that's are way- you sure <laughs> I swear to god right, but, right. but so that, that because when, when I heard when he said that to me I was like okay cool like he's not really messing with me I can tell so I guess I'm not really gonna mess with him and I'm not gonna like try my I feel like I'm a very welcoming person. Mm-hmm. I always yeah. do my best yeah. to make people feel welcome because I know what it feels like mm-hmm. to not feel welcomed. Mm-hmm. So I always go out of my way. When he made that comment, 
I was just kind of like, okay, well, he's not fucking with me, so I'm going to stop putting energy into that, too, because it's not... And this might be why... She hasn't interacted with many men, and this actually was an issue. I think other women actually would have played this easier, because that might be a way for him to attract Mm -hmm. women. You're not that interesting. One, he's around a lot of women, so it's not that there's not truth to it, but... (laughs) <laughs> but there, but it's also a bravado. What? It's a yeah. way. It's dominant, it's a, isn't it? It's very dominant. It's very attractive. Did it work? Here's the thing: we're reinforcing him on this one mm-hmm. because it did work. It did work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It I did love you, work. Les. What happens? Yeah. What happens if Leslie ends up in a relationship? Lecce finds the mixed girl with you know four different cultures in her. Um, can they coexist? Well, here's what I here's what I want to give a scenario. I thought too. about that too. I'm glad you asked. Tell me. That, that what's gonna happen when I find a real girlfriend? And Thank he you. Finds or, everyone wants to know that. Or you, mama. a father to your child. Let me get there. You go. Let me get that scenario in him. Okay. So she finds a girlfriend. Yeah. And the girlfriend is everything she wanted, and she's an overachiever, and she's nurturing, and she's ready to get married. And she's not really feeling her being flirty or charismatic with her coworkers, and she'll know. Because women know and they have intuition and they can read subconscious body language when you're two together. So she'll know. And she shuts down and she ices you a little bit. And the dynamic is different because it's playful. It's fun right now. Even when it's negative, it's Mm -hmm. reactive. And so reactive is getting you a high too. But it's also affecting Jeff Garcia, the sports dude, and myself. (laughs) You want my honest answer? Every day. Yeah, tell me. Um, Tell me she ices you out. out The dynamic's different. Tell me. It started out fun and playful. And then it's just like, guys, come on. Let's go. I know know everything is supposed to come to an end. And then if that's the time it's supposed to come to an end, I let it go and I let it be. That's the end. And it's a very good... And I will stick to... I'm I'm not not stubborn about it. Like, that's the end. That's the end. No, I like your... I mean, I like your macro view on it and it's true and that that's a way to protect our heart but would it be oh. slightly disappointing would we miss no, it would we I, miss no. the dynamic hell nah yes we that would is you think i'll miss be- leslie yes, yes you would leche <laughs> her happiness means more to me than you guys could ever imagine i agree with seeing that, her happy would make me happy because you know what i'm saying we couldn't tell I, no well what listen about the dinners and everything you would miss going out. No, nah, I mean, yeah. I go out. He took out yeah, another co-worker and, you know, he went on a date with another co-worker. He, he yeah, I gotta go to, out on to, dinners to with other girls. Me. He paid. He's never really paid with Leslie. Let me tell you why you will miss her. When you date other women and let's say you meet them in the club and let's hey. say they're not as ambitious as Leslie, <laughs> studies show that physical attractiveness and ambition are actually the most attractive traits. So you're going to be comparing these women and hopefully they're as ambitious as she is and as unique. Because if they're not, guess what happens? It backfires on you as an individual and you start missing her more. Okay, you're saying that I'm going to compare the woman to Leslie? It nah, ha- yes, the only, yes, listen, yes, nah. Wait, yes, Garcia, come here. What'd you say? Fact. They have to live up to Leslie. It's fact. The only, the yeah. only woman that I ever. That is a fact. Nah, that is a that, fact. That, that's false because the only standard I hold up to a woman that I would want to be with, I compare them to my mother. I'm not going to compare to Leslie. No, uh, listen, I'm going to compare to my mom. If you were my no agent. disrespect, Leslie. I think that's changed. <laughs> nah, hell nah. No disrespect, Leslie. But yeah. to me, you know what I'm saying? And you're a hardworking woman and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? You He's are who you are. Loyal. You're loyal. But nah, the, the only woman I would ever compare another woman to, and I would okay. love to, you know, have them be at the same level, would be yeah. with my mother. Okay. That's the truth. That's where you're at. Kim Cronister, is there an assignment or homework that we can give them? Yes. Okay, so we already know about the low blows. We're going to set intention. We're going to reinforce them when they're nice to us. And we're going to try our best to to check ourselves if we are having low blows. And the other thing is this. If you could go out together, it doesn't matter if it's a date or not, but if you can go out together and actually ask each other the 36 questions, you can actually find these online. 36 questions of love. They can actually help (laughs) make someone fall in love. And at minimum, they're bonding questions according to science. I think love is out the window. I think just a a nice, healthy friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Would do just for fine. sure. Yeah. So these are bonding questions. You know, I mean, so, other, I'm gonna tell you something I did the other day, and I thought it was very mature of me. Quickly, um, <laughs> you know, when Leslie threw cookies at me, Jeff, in the studio, yeah. wasted good, delicious I cookies. Mad. I the just other got day, that bag too. the I'm other so day, mad. we went down to the fourth floor, and I saw a waffle thing that she liked the other time, that was and I nice. saw the cookies. So I bought her the waffle thing because she wanted the day and bought the cookies, and I told her, "Hey, I owed you these cookies. Even when you're wrong, you're right." And she looked at me like, "Damn, baby." You've been on my life. But I, you know what I'm saying? That's sweet. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? I, I do the right things. It's not always, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But are they strategic? Everything's strategic. There he is. Let's see. What would it strategic. take? What would it take for you to take an individual seriously? There he is. What would it take for you to take someone seriously and want to be with them long term? Oh, man. Cookies? 
Do you have feelings Tell for Lechen? Tell take. Her cookies. Do you have feelings for Lechen? Do I have romantic feelings for Lechen? No. That's a better question. I don't think that I would ever, like, want to be his girlfriend for real. Mm -hmm. But I do have work girlfriend feelings. So, like, when he posted the other girls, I, look, I got a little bit jealous. Really? I'm not going to lie. Oh, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a Vegas. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a Vegas weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lechen just went all out. Okay, so we're going to stay on that trajectory of him getting duly reinforced. He's going to get ego supply from these women. And he's also going to get supply from you when you get jealous. Time out. Woo! What, what are work girlfriend feelings and what are girlfriend feelings? What's the They're difference? very similar. <laughs> Guys, it's very, very similar. similar. She sees, right? him, very she sees similar. him as a lesbian as well because <laughs> some say he's built like a, you know, like a... Uh, a stud, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there there was an attraction there initially, and then it just kind of got... Well, she weird. says she could be lying, but... What we don't want to do in any dynamic, guys, is you... continue damaging each other because we want to look back on this as a positive experience. Right. And I will say, if I had to guess clinically, she would want someone to be consistent, more serious, and kind in order to actually reel her in. Did you get supplied? Did you get reinforced for the for the behavior? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. But long term, long term... On a, if you were just my individual client, it would backfire you later on if if you really had high interest. Let's just say the scenario, okay? Yeah. What did you say to me, Les, when I did that? You're like, oh, you do love me. I did say that, yeah. So that was great. Good. You were enforced him for it. Oh, then. always. I, I feel like Good. I'm pretty good at letting him know what she I feel. She does that very like, well. I'm yeah. very, I, like, my thing is communication Good. and. She's very actually, and I, and I praise you for that. Didn't That's I? Sometimes I was people... like, Les, it's annoying sometimes, but yeah. yes. the fact that you get bothered and, and you just tell me. Like, she'd be like, hey, yo, you know what? What you did back there? I didn't really like it. And I'm like, for real, you're tripping. I'm thinking she she, she blown it up a portion. I'm like, yo, you're tripping. I was just joking. It's not that serious. But I do I do salute the fact that she, she even though to me it might be silly, she did say, hey, you know what? That bothered me, and that's growth. And, and I know whoever her future partner is going to be is going to appreciate that, even though it's a headache. Yeah. It's a headache that you can get out oh, the oh way. God. It's a, a no, no, listen. To yeah. some people, it, you paint with words, my G. But I will say, you know, we we bicker a lot, we fight a lot, we make fun of each other a lot. But he 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 has a way of always coming back and realizing, like, okay, maybe that wasn't the best thing to say. Maybe that yeah. wasn't the best thing to do. So he'll he'll do things like buy me cookies or like. Tell me, apologize. So Good. he always has a way Senator of coming back. Messages. Strategically, strategically, remember that. <laughs> do we have one well, more time yeah. for an exercise if we can do one uh, second? Um, do we have time? No? Uh, yes. Do we have time? No. Uh, well, on his camera, no. But okay. But here, yes, so right? There, so let's, let's just wrap this real quick. Perfect, okay. And then we'll shoot with one camera, yeah? Three, it's, two, one. Oh, wait, what was that? It was a sentimental oh. part, that's why. Okay, we'll still record it, though. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Kim Cronister, um, I understand a lot of hip-hop artists have reached out to you as well. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes they get in trouble with the, with the law as far as like drugs and alcohol. They get DUIs. So they come mm -hmm. out. The attorneys will refer to me. Sure. You know, so rappers, it's becoming normative for rappers to, to come in. And then they get they get attached to the process. Yeah. And then they'll come back in with their spouses. I hope this helps the audience um, in some way. I really do. I think it's very important because this is along the lines of mental health as well. It really is. Um, and, um, you know... I'd love for our audience to reach out to you. Where can my wife and I and our audience reach out to you, Kim? I'm on IG, Dr. Kim Cronister, and you can find me online, drkimcronister.com as well. Can you spell Cronister? C-H-R-O-N-I-S-T-E-R. -E you can find the hashtag Dr. Kim as well on TikTok. Dr. Kim, you have a hot voice. I just want to go ahead and throw it out there. <laughs> and you're on TikTok. You're on TikTok He's too. even more charismatic in person. That's the problem, He's right? He's very charismatic. I'm dead, huh? Now these what? two will be fighting over you when you leave. No, they're good. They're good. All right, Leslie might win. Les Leslie, I'll be honest with you. Leslie, <laughs> where have you seen Leslie, by the way? You've seen her before? We've somewhere? run in similar circles for oh, several years. Oh, yeah, wow. we've never gotten to really touch base. But, oh, this is so. awesome. Well, listen, Leslie you likes single? to touch bases. Uh, no, I'm not single. You're not no, single. No. Oh, well, I apologize. Sorry, Les, Les, Les asked me to I ask know you. plenty of single women, though. But, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, help out here, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> please, thank you so much, Dr. Kim Cronister. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much, guys. This has been a success, I hope, yeah. I think. Ah, we pray. There. Yes, Real 92. Love you, Leslie.